Our Old Testament scripture today is taken from Genesis, the 17th chapter. It is our story about continuing about Abraham, Abraham and Sarah and their relationship to God, their faith relationship, in their journey of life, their trust in God. We see that Abraham has placed his faith in God and has worked through his life and growing in that faith in spite of the fact that he and Sarah were older in age they received some promises from God and our theme for today in our scriptures is God is a promise keeper God made some promises to Sarah and Abraham especially in their old age in spite of the fact that Abraham and Sarah were a hundred and 90 years old, they both were given a promise that they would have a son. There was some questioning and there was some wondering and even Sarah laughed when she heard that she was to have a child in her old age. Over the years, Abraham kept his faith and they continued to make their life's journey. This was truly an expression of faith on behalf of Abraham and Sarah as they continued to make their life's journey. God kept his promise and he blessed them. Paul reaffirmed this in the New Testament and in the writings of Romans chapter 4, verses 13 through 25. In chapter 4, we find these words. For the promise to Abraham or to his descendants that he would be the heir of the world was not through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For this reason, it is by faith that it might be in accordance with grace, in order that the promise may be certain to all the descendants. In hope against hope, Abraham believed, in order that he might become a father of many nations. So shall your descendants be, and without becoming weak in faith, he contemplated his own body now, as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yet with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but he grew strong in faith. Therefore so also it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now not for his sake only was it written, that it was reckoned to him, but for our sakes also, to whom it will be reckoned, as those who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was and delivered up from our transgressions and was raised because of our justification. To the Jews, Abraham held a unique position Abraham had shown that he had complete trust in God and that he was willing to abandon his life to God. His faith, his belief, formed the basic tenet for Christianity. All a man or a person had to do, according to Paul, was to stake his faith on belief that God's promises were true, as Abraham had done. Paul's principle, therefore, was that the way to God was through faith in God's word, knowing that everything was dependent upon God's grace and love. Today, we know that God offers us many promises. He has promised us deliverance in time of trouble, in healing and illnesses, comfort in sorrow, grace for our sinning sins, and many other promises. Most of all, may we remember that God has given us the promise of salvation and grace and love through Jesus Christ. Our daily privilege is to be the way of faith and trust in the promise of Jesus as our Savior.